Hi all, Freeze Correct here. Hey, uh, just uh, it's had been a while. Just messing with a big rounded, difficult to deal with rock. And I just knocked a little, little spot off the end to get on the clean rock to try and be able to hit. Um, I decided to do this because somebody recently posted a comment on one of my videos that they were still having trouble thinning and I thought well nothing's worse than trying to get into and thin something like this so with no natural uh, no natural uh, platforms or anything so this was kind of pointed and I just just tapped the end of it off hard to it's hard to hit this kind of stuff without crushing it but I'm gonna try and get on a little nub here if I can and support out here nope dang well I just don't have a good good spot to hit hmm I could try and work from here all the way down here, but that's going to be a pain. It's going to be like a chess game. Let's do the chess game and I'll show you. Let's see if it works. I'm holding out here so I don't end snap it. The initial goal, this isn't that bad a rock, it looks like. The initial goal is to drive some stuff inward and get stuff starting to be skinned but also creating some platforms that I can work on around and down this thing. See? Isolating with an abrader. I'm not really trying to grind those side areas. I was trying to isolate them. make this flake run better although it gets kind of low right in here I'm not pushing on the pad here if I do I'll make that dive and make it hinge really badly in here so I'm just wanting to support this where it doesn't flip downward and hold the back edge down my leg so I'm not really I'm just touching it on here see and that would have been a real bad situation if I had put much pressure on it with the pad but as it is it worked out pretty well okay so now what I've basically got right here is I can take another flake on each side and then I'll be working off I can work off the other edge I'll take a flake here See how it kind of wrapped around that side to where now I can hit on here. Take the flake over here. Eh, forget that. I don't need to do that anyway. Let's just quit uh, on that whole thing and try and do something right here. The key thing is, when you're trying to do a major removal, really try not to hit too much on Cortex. <clears throat> you know, this is not wide, so I could freehand this easily, but then I got this big old lump hanging off here, so I'm just holding onto the lump and I'm just resting this on my leg, trying to uh, manage it. And everything that happened right here is with the uh, the leather making that kind of wrap around like that till I'm hitting and yeah, now I'm hitting cortex you see how I'm trying to just I'm trying to catch that edge enough to where <coughs> It's not pure cortex because that'll just deaden the blow and it won't work at all.
but it isn't going across very well so it's it's going to be a little turtle here because <coughs> i'm hitting right from the center line and i can't get good thinning right from the center line i hope that's understandable you know when you're at the center line you're not going to hit straight through the middle of your piece so therefore it's sort of i'm going to hit again right here and come down a little bit here and again, I did not push it down hard on that leather because I wanted a flat flake. And if I'd pushed down hard on the leather, it would have curved up into it. Um, so anyway, now I'm going to hit downward because I'm trying to get this platform away from the center line. I want this platform away from the center line so I can hit and remove more thickness that direction. Okay, so see, I moved this. I moved it that way, which is beneficial to me. Trying to get that nice and strong and get some of this out of the way. Okay, wish me luck on this one because this is a fairly important hit. And I'm having to make this hit on Cortex because this Cortex is stout enough where I can't really scrub it completely off. But I'm going to push fairly hard down on the leather with this because I want it to run deeper than normal. So I'm going to hold the back edge, push down fairly hard on the leather, and try and catch it with the corner of this because I wanted it to roll over and stay low. And you see how it went down fairly good? It's not as humpy as it was. Um, the you know if you do it right you play the bottom of the piece like a violin I mean you really you want to control what happens and the flake is dramatically affected by support and what goes on at the surface I'm going to do that again pushing fairly good and I'm hitting somewhat obliquely I'm hitting kind of at this angle eh, caught it too thin and it platform failed in other words I swung a little bit off and didn't get quite enough of it and it's damaged right here now so that's a problem too But all I'm going to do is I'm going to come over a little bit and try and hit it a tiny bit over. Well, caught it and damaged it more. So then I came over and, and got it where I wanted to. And it wrapped it some. Um, but I'm now I'm back at the center line. This is almost like... And lower that some. It's almost like making a Kerrville knife with um, being. I've kind of arbitrarily restricted myself towards hitting from this end just to show you. It's not like I couldn't knock something else off there and get into this somehow because I can get a, go get a big hammer stone and knock the end completely off. Um, thinning flakes. I don't know if you can see them. Sunlight's starting to do weird things. Sun keeps moving around me. Oh well. If I can ever get down. See what I'm doing. And in the process, it's very steep, but I'm getting cortex off.
And if I ever give myself a good shot at this sucker, which I will. See, I've got a lot of width here I don't need. So the initial steepness isn't really a problem. I mean, it's not great, but it isn't really a problem because I've got to lose so much width anyway that I've got plenty of time to hit other things. Okay, so I've turned the corner a little bit with this. <clears throat> and now I can, assuming this platform holds up, I can hit a little higher and hit aggressively obliquely in through here with it pushed down. Dang! Right here, there's thickness. It may be a little damaged and a little cortexy, but I'm gonna hit it anyway to see what happens. I think though, before I do that, I'll hit this one again. I'm gonna try and hit that. I don't know if it'll be very good. Yeah, that was helpful. While I'm at it, before I do more there, I'm gonna try and draft her a little bit of a thickness. Right here. Not pushing too hard. Okay. Okay, so now just trim this off because it's right at the center line. I want it over to this side a little bit. See? Now I want a good, strong platform without chalk right on that edge. Support it. I kind of went that way. Creating two more platforms for myself. One, two. Come that way with the first one. Now see, that was a better angle. It allows me to, to go across. This is pretty good and low. I'm gonna hold that down like this. This ends up, but I'm supporting it all the way out. Got it in the back of my hand. I still have plenty of mass in this to sort of make the flakes run just by its own weight. But nonetheless, they run even better if you hold it tight on the back edge. One, two, three, four, I could hit any of those really. They're not perfect. I'm gonna hit this one obliquely and try and run it down. This is kind of in the way, so I gotta be careful. Just wanted to run a little down there. I'll hit on top of this little thing. That wasn't great, but oh well. I might be able to do something with that if I hit it well. Nope, failed. This is not because I got it at the wrong angle. It's because I hit it a little thin and the platform failed. When the platform fails, it starts to hinge down and it kicks up into it more and divoted. I don't mind showing screw ups as long as I can explain them well enough to where Same thing on that one. Again, you can see it failed, kicked up. It's not just running along and hitting at the wrong angle. It's the platform failure. So a whole lot of these hinges and stuff that new nappers make 
is due to that. Uh, at first, they're thinking, "Oh, well, gee, you know, I'm not, I'm not hitting very accurately." You see the hinges there. All of these hinges are because this material is fairly decent material, and it's uh, <clears throat> not super strong. The flakes run well, but it's not super strong. So I'm trying to. I want to do big removals, so I would have to prepare my edge really, really strongly to stand up to those uh, hard strikes. And I'm not. I'm not quite getting there. You think I'm scrubbing a lot, but you can see I may be scrubbing a lot, but I, I'm not removing much edge there. Might need a better a better <coughs> braider. All the braiders are not the same. See, that one started to do that, and it kicked up, but it was still butted up against that thing because of the thing, and it kicked on across. They're like, oh man, you're really messing this rock up. Yeah, I know. Don't worry about it. Be all right. It'll be all right somehow. <clears throat> Not a great angle near the center line. Oh well. Still drove it more than halfway across by pushing down. Pushing down, pushing down. See, I hit almost straight down, but see it ran, kind of, from the support. Same thing, see? It's not from the angle I was hitting, and I'm not suggesting hit down all the time. If you can get the right angle to hit, hit it at the right angle. But if you can't, then you can use your support a lot of the time. Help yourself out. That was all because I had that down in the leather like that. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing right here. I got this little spot. I'm not hitting down like this. I'm gonna try and, and put this thing at an angle on the edge and hit along this. Along that ridge, because I wanna wrap this thing around like that. Okay, does that make sense? So it came around like that. All right. Now I'm seeing an opportunity and we'll see if it works or not. Isolating on that side. Isolating on this side. Cross grinding, cross grinding, cross grinding. Trying to strengthen it, son. <clears throat> if if this fails, it's going to be a, a bad hinge. If it doesn't fail, this is a little bit low right here. If it doesn't fail, it'll undercut all of this. I'm going to put the pressure right there, not up here. But then I have to hit it at the right angle in order to make that work. But as you can see, it did work. Well, say as you can see. Yeah, now you can see. It did work. And we got rid of that hump. Hump hinge. And as usual with Texas Rock, you know, we're getting down lower into this and it's getting worse. And it would have been good for me to work to one side and not going down into this concrete and crap. But... I would have had to be pretty good at bipolar to knock that thing in half or something to not have to use the other sides. Okay, this is another important flake, and I don't have a ridge right here, but I got a big hump. And this is too close to the center line, so again, I've got to use help from my leather. And I definitely want to hold all this together down here and have good support. I'm putting it kind of hard down to the leather. 
I caught it too thin. Go over a little bit. Catch it right. My coordination's a bit off today. It's still morning and uh, I napped yesterday. Not great, but we'll see. Trying to catch it with a corner, so I'm holding it sideways so I can hit sideways and catch right there. It's a low spot right in there and it rises up. Don't want to hit that one thin. Okay. I still got, this is a, a problem area. I'd actually like to take that off from the other side. But one of the things I can do, which is, this is totally wrong, but I'll show you something. If I can. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. Um, okay, this is hit into here. It's cracked all the way up into there with that, uh, where the platform fell and hinged. And so there's nothing that can be done right in here right now with hitting there. I'm going to come over here, and this is actually turned the wrong way to be a platform, and there's no ridge here at all, but it's high enough to where if I hit it, I can undercut some of this probably and come into here and clean up part of that side of that thing. And I mean, this is not the correct way to do anything. I'm going to do it anyway and see what happens. Okay, see how it did? It undercut and got rid of a lot of that hinge. I, just, I wasn't trying to get go in that whole area. I was just trying to come across. It came all the way over to here. So, I guess the point is sometimes being able to recognize having studied edges enough to where you can recognize what you can get away with is sometimes as important as being able to create an edge or platform that's just perfect. Sometimes it'll work like it is. Am I suggesting you do that? No, I'm just telling you it's doable. I'm trying to never suggest how people nap because I don't like it when people tell me how to nap. I'm just going to leave that alone for a minute though. There's other stuff I can do in here. I might can get away with hitting over here and undercut some of that mess and I could hit there and undercut some of that mess but um, I'll go ahead and do some stuff over here. Trying to move my platform away from the from the center line. Mm. You always want to get your knife edges away from where you're going to hit because they'll fail and, and they'll hinge. Leather. Okay, we're going to try and do something with this head. Pushing hard into the leather. Ran all the way down to here. Lowered, flattened. It did break, but the leather kept it from pooching out. If you can hold those broken butt ends of flakes together, you can get some real good out of them sometimes. I really kind of need, this is all, I've got extra mass on this end here that I'd like to remove before I do any real major kind of 
messing with stuff. Raising that a little bit and cross grinding it because I've got a little bit of convexity in here. I don't really have a good ridge. I'm gonna hold it, not, not much support. I'm, I'm just gonna make sure I hit the right angle and controlling this in pretty well. Ran down to here. I didn't have much pressure. All I was doing was keeping that flake from breaking and falling apart or blowing up. Okay. I still got a big lump on here though. It's all turned the wrong way. Big lump there, and concavity right here. I don't know if this is going to work at all, but let's see. Yep, undercut it. Didn't climb the hill very well, but. So I got this big bump here. And that's right at the center line, so there's no way to remove it. Oh, there was a way. Push the bump down hard on the leather. No bump. I'm not suggesting that anybody phase their work or do anything. Those were just little blenders into there. I'm trying to get this turned slightly to this side to deal with this other bump. So I took a big fat mass in here. I gotta get way away from my uh, center line to address on this side and on this side. I'm right at the center line, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. While I'm there, I'm gonna turn this a little bit. This cortex is all gone. See what that is? It's not at the center line, it's a little low. Got that there, so I've got it, and this is cleared off enough to where I can hit at that angle, not in like this. Hold it down my leg, point it the direction I want, put my finger on the end. Put on the leather a little bit. That didn't do that great. Wasn't horrible. Remember, there's no no fee for watching this, so you're getting what you pay for. Uh, I'm back at the center line, but that was rolled that way a little bit, so I didn't want to hit and try and undercut there. I'll try and push on that and go. And I was pushing on that, and I hit hard, and I tried to make sure I caught it. And you saw it was kind of a downward hit, but even though it was a downward hit, because of the leather and pressure right there, there's the platform and it ran to here. So, there's the platform, ran to here. <clears throat> okay, so now I've got a delta right here. See that flares and flares? I've got a little bit of convexity there. I've got a little ridge there. I've got what can be a fairly strong platform here, so I'm going to set this up carefully. I'm not trying to toughen the, the knife edges, I'm just trying to... I've got a little flat bump on the end of that platform so I'm trying I'm gonna try and grind this at an angle to 
to adjust that. And then I'm going to grind this. And you're like, what does that do? Can't tell you. Don't ever grind your dorsal ridges. Dorsal ridge abrasion of this sort is a secret. Okay, can you see this? Big old steep area, crummy area problem. Just big long, this is like four inches across this thing. Just terrible. Uh, that platform is not wonderful. Platform is not wonderful at all. Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think will happen? Did you get this? Can you see it? Okay. There's my ridge. All right, so that helped. Um, so it's lighter. I'm just looking, trying to slow down a little bit when I talk. When, I, uh, when I'm doing these videos, I make way more mistakes because I am thinking about more of what I want to say than what I'm supposed to do. person coming this way or is that maybe I, um, I need to stop and restart this because it's been like 30 minutes all right be back